Hey, this is Brett with Summit Auto in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Chrysler and Chrysler Pacifica minivan headquarters. And today I'm excited to show you the redesign on the 2021 Chrysler Pacifica. Today we're checking out a 2021 uh, Touring L all-wheel drive. This one has the Safety Sphere Group. It also has the Uconnect Theater Family Group, which has some really neat options um, that we'll check out. It has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 motor, 287 horsepower, has start-stop capabilities. It's going to get you 25 miles per gallon on the highway, 17 city for an average of 20 miles per gallon. Brilliant black crystal pearl is the color and we shoot all of our videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second, so if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, or smartphone device, definitely turn them on right now because it is your best way to check out the looks, styling, options, and color of the vehicle before seeing it in person. And uh, first off, I've never seen a Pacifica with the polished aluminum rims. This one has 18 inch polished aluminum rims and it has Michelin Premier tires on here. These are 235 60R18s. Um, kind of a highway slash all-terrain tread pattern on them. And uh, rims look really good. It matches all the chrome accents on the windows and the roof rack rails. So really a good looking van. So to get to the redesign, first off, you'll notice that the front end of the Pacifica looks completely different. It has more of an oval shaped grille. You get the redesigned headlights and uh, fog lamps so now we have led fog lamps down there led headlamps and led running lights now this one's got all the tech you know advanced technology group stuff so lane departure adaptive cruise control uh, forward collision warning uh, 360 camera is part of that 360 sphere we'll take a look at the original window sticker i'm not going to go through everything because it's a lot to go through and takes a lot of time but I will just point out the main things, 2021 Pacifica Touring L all-wheel drive, 3.6 liter with electronic start stop, 9-speed automatic transmission, and on the left here are all your standard features. So the Touring L comes standard with adaptive cruise control, blind spot, park sense, lane departure, full speed collision, forward collision warning plus, um, emergency braking, advanced brake assist, park view camera, um, and everything else that's listed there. Now, the uh, optional equipment is the Uconnect Theater Family Group, which is a $29.95 option. Comes with FamCam, which is easily my favorite new um, option on the vehicle, on the Pacificas. So I'll show you that. Stow and go vac, heated second row seats. You get the uh, Uconnect Theater with the screens in the backrests of the front seats, the wireless headphones, and key sense. Trailer tow group is uh, $9.95 and of course it shows you that you get 3,600 pound rating with that four pin and seven pin wiring and the receiver hitch. Premium and safety sphere group, which is $19.95, gives you the 360 camera, the 13 Alpine speakers, the 506 watt amplifier, the Uconnect 5 with navigation and the 10.1 inch radio, which is really a, a cool system and we'll check that out in just a second here. Sirius Guardian, um, with trial period, Sirius XM with 360L, USB charge port, 8-way um, front seats, power front seats, and uh, integrated voice command with Bluetooth, deluxe insulation group, parallel and perpendicular park assist, park sense front and rear park assist with stop, and global telematics box module. One-year trial period with that, and uh, 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot. And then it does have the dual pane panoramic sunroof, which is $12.95. So, total MSRP is 49915 which is a lot, but, you know, all the stuff you get with this van, I don't think you'll ever need another van again. Um, Three-year 36 bumper-to-bumper, five-year 60 powertrain. And if you want to get your Summit price in the upper right-hand part of your screen as a link to our website, click that and check us out there to get all the rebates and incentives on this particular van. 25 highway, 17 city, 20 miles per gallon average, and five star front and side crash test ratings. Um, because of the redesign, it's not rated for the rollover yet, so they don't have an overall score either. 
And the other cool thing about that 10 inch radio is that you can do Android Auto and Apple CarPlay wirelessly now. You used to always have to have a, a USB cord, but now it's all wireless. Get the hiding or stone go roof rack rails as well. And then you have the four wheel disc brakes. As we come around to the back of the vehicle, rear bumper parking sensors, you get the towing package with the receiver hitch, seven pin and four pin wiring. And the redesign back here, they gave it the uh, kind of racetrack tail lamps like the Durango. So that looks pretty cool. And it is an all wheel drive. Stow and go seats, really easy to get down. All you gotta do is pull the headrest down, follow the numbers, one, and then two. And then that seat stows right into the floor. Really easy, and to get it back up, you just grab two again, give it a flip, and it'll go into place. Lots of room back here, your stow and back system is right there. And to get this gate down, you press this button. It'll be bet you three times and then come on down. It does have the capless fuel fill, which is a really nice feature if you've never used that. Never get gas on your hands again. It has the enter and go system, which you just have to have the key fob in your pocket, put your hand in there, it'll automatically unlock. Heated mirrors, blind spot monitoring, and directional signals in the side mirrors. Inside you get the McKinley leather with the blue stitching. Really good looking. Both these front seats are heated and power and you do get lumbar on the driver's side, factory floor mats, auto headlamps, tilt telescopic steering wheel, power windows, power locks, power mirrors, and memory driver's seat. Notice you do get that leather trim and the blue stitching on the inside the door as well. Inside you get the seven inch LCD display. You get the digital speedometer, compass display, and you can change pretty much all your readings to read whatever you want. You get the nice blue hue around the dials there. Really good looking. You also get the heated leather wrap steering wheel, cruise controls and adaptive cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. Steering wheel is the one thing that really didn't get redesigned, um, but the dash and everything else did. So you get that blue stitching throughout. The dash is more of a sweeping dash, I guess you could say. And this is the 10.1 touchscreen radio. And instead of like the 12 inch screen, which they did vertically, this one's more horizontal, which I think looks a little bit better. Now you got AM, FM, Sirius XM radio, on this vehicle. Um, you have also have the factory navigation system and you can make that full screen which is really cool. Everything's very intuitive, very easy to understand and follow. You get the comfort group or your comfort is your basically your climate control. So where it's blowing, your temperature on the both sides there for the dual climate controls. And then um, I actually have my old cell phone hold, hooked up here and you can see I've got uh, Pink Floyd playing off my phone onto the radio through without a cord. I'm, I'm going wirelessly here. So it's hooked up through Android Auto. And then I also have uh, Google Maps up right now. So this isn't the factory navigation. This is Google Maps off of my phone, which is pretty cool. Um, and you can do all that wirelessly. And then the other really, really cool stuff is if you go to vehicle, you can do your cameras. So I'll show you this one first. Here's the surround view camera. You can see just how crystal clear everything is. You can even see the individual tiles in our picture studio, which is really neat. And then you have your backup camera and you can see just how crystal clear that is. Those grid lines are dynamic, meaning as I turn that steering wheel, those grid lines are going to turn as well. And then that center line is lined right up with the receiver hitch, which is really nice if you're going to be towing something, you can get hooked up the first time every time. And then it also has the zoom, so you can press the zoom to zoom in right over the receiver hitch. So once again, get hooked up the first time every time. And now for my favorite um, part of this video, so you can also do a backup camera. You can check out the front cameras, the wide view, the narrow view, all cool stuff. But this, the family camera, check that out. You can literally see what's going on 
in the vehicle live time without having to turn around and see so if you've got naughty kids that are going to be sitting here and you want to make sure they're not fighting or that they're not doing something they're not supposed to be doing you can uh, see that right there in fact you can see me right here doing the video um, now this is zoomed in on a seat watch if I press a different seat it zooms in on there I want to see the back seats boom it's that easy it's crazy um, really a cool system I know that uh, people have been talking about something like this for a long time and I can't even remember I think I was talking to somebody about actually doing why don't they have this um, well they've done it now so really a cool system my favorite part of the whole uh, redesign on here headlights are pretty nice too and the radio is really nice but this uh, that family cam is really neat Anyways, you get the black trim around the radio there, the black trim around everything down here. You have your climate controls, 9-speed automatic transmission. You have your per perpendicular and parallel park assist, parking sensors, lane departure warnings, start-stop capabilities, and your stability control. Um, once again, that dash, very nice and sweeping. Everything looks really good in here. You get the panoramic sunroof with the power sunroof right there. Um, second row fixed glass, you get your door controls, gate control, home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems, SOS and assist buttons, and family cameras kind of made this thing obsolete in my opinion, but it's still there. They have the little mirror for the back. We'll take a quick look at the back seats. I'll show you how stow and go works. It does have the power side doors. It has a stow and go assist. also has the Uconnect theater system so you get two screens in the backrests um, you can see when they're not in use they collapse nicely into the back seat so you're not going to wreck the screen you can uh, do blu-ray playing on there you do get an hdmi and usb jack and a headphone jack there and they can play games with each other the two people in the second row and uh, i'm not 100 percent versed on the theater system but it's it's a pretty cool system and nice if you do have kids and then the stow and go assist press that button that seat will go up like so and then these seats will actually go into the floor even with the all-wheel drive system so just gotta grab this and then that's one of your headphones right there wireless headphones and you can see they put the drive shaft right there for years they're like how are we gonna do that can't do an all-wheel drive well looks like it was pretty easy it still kept the stow and go. So the thing on these seats is you want to make sure these armrests are up. If they're down, that's not going to work. So really easy to do. You just grab this strap right here, stow and go. Put it down into the floor. Give it a good push. And then this will come down like that. Snaps in. And you're all set to go. Stow and go. Third row seats, you do get two latch anchors back there. Side window shades that you can put up and down you also get rear air controls right there and then to get these seats back up really easy just put that back up it'll kind of stick into place there grab the stow and go strap once again bring it back it'll lock into place put that seat up easy peasy grab this and you're all set to go press the stow and go button again and that seat will go back to where it originally was press that button and that door will close and we'll do one more final walk around here so you can check out all those lights that are on the vehicle that all the LED lights that they've done and I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video you will have gotten a really good idea of the overall looks styling of the redesign all the new headlights and fog lamps really bright really a good look to it love all the new options on the interior including that family camera and the 10.1 inch radio and uh, 
Thanks again for checking out the video and to see more pictures of this van or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got to go to our website right there, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations are all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left, a link to more. Chrysler Pacifica minivan videos like this one on your right. If you have not been to our website on the bottom, a link to this video, this vehicle on our website. Click those, check us out. And we're super excited to be offering this really good looking 2021 Chrysler Pacifica Touring L all wheel drive in brilliant black crystal pearl. Thanks again for checking out the video.